Hey guys, it's Trice here, and we're gonna need the most torque out of this inline 4 engine in automation. We only got a couple more engines left to go, just this year I-4 and the dreaded inline 3. So let's get on with this year engine build. So the first thing you gotta do on the top of portion of your screen is you set the year all the way up to the year of 2020 to maximize everything related to the engine. And after choosing the inline 4 configuration, you may select any block material that you may choose from. I'm gonna do magnesium for the sake of weight. And for the bore and stroke right here is you square this off by maxing it out to 120 millimeters each to get the engine size to 5,429 cubic centimeters or around 5.4 liters with a dual overhead cam 5 valve. And again, whatever head material that you may choose from, I'm going to select aluminum silicone for the sake of weight. And for this quality slider, as you see right here, you should see this if you're in the open beta branch of version 4.2 of automation, is you set this for the engine block for the quality at a plus 15. And you also do this for everything, such as the top end, the bottom end, the turbocharger, the exhaust, the fuel system, for everything. For the balance shaft, you require to have balance shafts installed to this engine to reduce the chance to crankshaft from exploding on you. And for the crank cow rods and pistons, we're going to be using the strongest materials as possible. So for the crankshaft, we're going to be using billet steel with the cow rods set to a lightweight titanium and the pistons set to a regular forged. For the compression, we max this bad boy for pretty much this part of the series at 4.2 open beta branch of automation to a 15.0 to 1 ratio and extreme level. With the camp profile set to the magic number, which is pretty interesting, to a 52. It's kind of weird with this number. It's like, it's only this number for the camp profile for getting the most torque out of these engines, which is pretty weird for me. And the springs and lifters set to 6 clicks up from a 50 to a 56. And like always, VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, we're going to be using a single turbo with a smart boost system with the intercore size set to zero horsepower, so no intercore whatsoever, which is pretty interesting for this part of the game. In the aspiration setup details, we're using a variable geometry ball bearing setup with the compressor size set for the first section to 120 millimeters. The turbine set for the second option at a 118 millimeters. The AR compressor trim is you set this to a 41 right here. And the maximum boost is you set this to a 34.8 PSI, right around here, right here. For the fuel system, it's pretty much the usual for getting the most torque out of these engines. So we're going to be using a direct injection, throttle per cylinder, standard mid intake, running on dev meth fuel. With the fuel mixture set to a 10.3, almost at a full bone ridge setting. With the ignition timing set to an advanced setting, all the way up to 100. And the max RPM limit is set to a 7100 RPM. And finally, for the exhaust and everything, so we're using turbocharged racing headers with a single exhaust, the exhaust diameter maxed out to 203 millimeters, which equals to 8 inches. And like always, no cats, no mufflers, bring up that quality. And we get the final horsepower rating of 2,221.1 horsepower at 7,100 RPM, and the highlight of the video is the torque at 1,870.9 pounds feet of torque at 4,900 RPM. And right away, as you see the stress right here, it claims 100% stress for the pistons and 100% stress for the con rods too. But as we look at the reliability factor right here as I zoom in, is that we're at a 0.2. As long as it's not at a 0.0, .0 then the engine will run just as fine automation, but in BMG Drive, you're going to be having some problems with overheating and all that bad stuff later down the road. And also, to get rid of overheating, check out this video in the car system to learn more on how to reduce the chances of overheating or get rid of overheating in general for all engines. So for this part of the video, I'll give you here what this engine will sound like, and I'll play around with the graphs out here, starting with the power and torque, the, the torque and boost, torque efficiency, and power and efficiency. After showing you all those main important graphs, I'll show the engine as is by doing some fake gears just for a little while, and we'll run off the video right then and there. So bring back the graph visibility, and give you here of this back stress engine in terms of torque right now.
Despite being 100% stress in terms of the pistons and counterrods of torque stress, it held up pretty well except for the headers and turbocharger going like white hot up in here, man. <laughs> Sold out due to automation the car company Tycoon gave with this torque-heavy inline-4 engine. For the final engine in this series, I'll wrap things up with the fragile inline-3. Also, it's pretty interesting that I've managed to make this inline-4 build in less than 5 minutes. It shows you how easy it is to get a high-torque engine without blowing it up. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including the automation to BeamNG Drive videos too. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.